Okay, 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 okay. Chill, chill, chill. Let's talk to the mermaids. Hello, mermaids. What is good? It is Lex. Alexa, Lexi, you know what to do. You know what to call me. You know who I am. That's why you're here. That's why you clicked on my video. Yeah, you heard that. Oh, crrr. Hi, I'm back. I have Rosen from the dead. Right now, I'm really in the mood to do a makeup tutorial and I just feel inspired kind of right now. Also, I have like three new eyeshadow palettes that I got, so I want to use them up and like do a review, which probably by the time I put them up, they will probably be old. Like people probably won't care about. I have my face all done already. Like, who am I? Look at my hair is like, I try to semi curl it. I don't know. I'm not like, I don't know how to curl hair. So I don't know. I'm not a hair person at all. I do three styles and that's it. Straighten whatever like this is that I try to do. And my low bunny, low po, low bunny. No, what? Why am I saying bunny? Pony, my little pony. Why would I say bunny? Whatever. That's so weird. So I feel like a little decent kind of put together. So if you want to see what palette I'm using, what makeup look I'm going to do, I don't, I don't even know what makeup look I'm going to do. So just keep on watching if you want to see what I got to do, what I got to say. You know, you know the deal. Dill, you know the drill. Basically when I do a makeup look, it's kind of either if I like it or I don't. So it's just all in one. Like I feel like I don't even really need to, need to say makeup review, but I'm gonna be doing it on the I'm wearing her highlighter today just because like I love it obviously and like I love her. So I'm sure if you guys have not seen online or if you don't really watch makeup tutorials or makeup like or Instagram people you don't really know. This is Amrezy. She is the baddest of them all. She is such a baddie. I think I've said this before. She was like my first like influencer that I follow that I didn't even know like you could do like influencer or like Instagram stuff. But this is like her guys can kind of see oh my gosh okay there you go and yeah so this is her this is her like palette that she did um with Anastasia Beverly Hills and her highlighter which wait let me get it I've used it so many times so it this is her highlighter I'm sure you guys have seen me play with it I'm just gonna talk about like the first impression just like my thought on it right away and just what I think about this whole aesthetic and just everything and what I think of her doing this first of all congratulations to Amrezy um, this is amazing so this is what it looks like I just took it out of the carton so carton is just kind of their standard so I have like a few concerns, not concerns, I mean, first of all, this packaging is stunning, but when I think of Amrezy, I think of like a glowing, wet, nude, um, brown, bronzed goddess. Like that's what I think of her. And for this, she did, oh, did I, I also got the mirror. You guys, I love this mirror. This is like perfect in my face and it's kind of little. I like how it's just like a square. And it's so cute. Um, this feels really, really nice. Like it feels really nice. It's not glittery. A mirror's a mirror. You know the standard. These kind of colors is what I think of of Amrezy. Um, and just from her Instagram and stuff. And I know that she loves like pink and for the campaign shoots and just everything. She did everything pink and like Barbie, which I wish she would have done a couple more different stuff. But like I'm not throwing shade or not trying to be rude about it or anything like that. Those were pictures were stunning everything looked so beautiful when i think of amrezy i don't really think pink like i think like barbie because she does like the pink series she does color series and like she loves Nicki minaj and stuff so i do think of like that kind but like for her palette to be all pink i don't really know if i feel like that's i mean like it's her but like i don't really picture her pink if that makes sense i've had this for like over a month like I want to say like two months the most and I have not even touched it because I've been wanting to do a video They also said that there's two more added shades in here or eyeshadows so compared to your regular palettes by Anastasia I think there's like 14 in here there is 16 and it of course comes with their little makeup brush that they always use which hey I like these I use them like all the time so perfect for me do like the colors like i think they are very pretty i i know she said all these are new formulas and new shadows everything is completely new so i think that's really awesome great giving us like something different but i love this leo i think this reezy is so pretty and also i really like barb actually you know what i I, I love the shimmers. I literally love the shimmers. I kind of have a lot of these same ones, except for maybe this like dark plummy. I don't even know. I have so many shadows. Here is just what it is up close. 
I do, I think this is pretty. I think the freaking names are adorable. That's just kind of my first thought, my first impressions of this just right when I look at it. Um, I just got it because I love her and I wanna support her, so obviously I got it. But yeah, let's get into this makeup tutorial. I wanted something different besides my plain like black, um, black and white eyeshadow stuff that I have. I really wanted neon ones just to have them stand out and I wanted more eye ones because I can never have enough eyeshadow brushes. I was first feeling like a bronze like because I really want to be like bronzy goddess because that's what she does all the time. I'm just going to go in with this little Jeffree Star JS61 just because I wanted like a little smaller blending brush just to kind of start off. So I'm first going to go into New Yorker. Gosh, I love talking like in a New York accent. Like Nicki Minaj actually got me to talk into that. Okay, so my first few little dips that I go into there, it's kind of powdery. So I'm just going to, I don't even know what I want to do, like how I want to do this, like where I want to place my stuff or what I want it to look like. So I'm just winging it and going for it because it has been so long since I've done like a makeup tutorial like this. I feel like, like full on lashes, full on face, full on blendability. Like let's go, I guess we're, we're just going right in with it. This looks like kind of like an orangey, warm tony, obviously. I don't know, I wonder what it'll be like on the eyes. Okay, I did tap off the access. So I'm just going to go into my crease and I'm going to place it right there. I'm just patting it, tapping it right now. This kind of reminds me, I don't know why, it reminds me of like Mac and Me Sun or something. Oh my gosh, that is super pretty. And get pigment out of it right away. I'm doing like a tish blending and I'm doing it very light handed. And I kind of want to round this out. I might just go like a tish higher. I always keep my eyes open and I like look down just because I like to see how big my round transition can be. Like how big I can kind of blend it up and do that. I am starting to blend a little bit of it, not dipping back in, just blending what I have. I love this eyeshadow color with my brown eyes. I don't know what the other shades will be. I'll see when I start playing with it more. I feel like this shadows, um, this formula is different from their other ones. Like, it's not falling out. This is just really easy to blend right now. Just because I don't want to go too much into it. Again, I'm going to go into OG, which, as you can see, these two look kind of similar. And I kind of like how she did similar shades, but one's a little darker. Just so when you have that transition shade, you can blend it out with this. So I'm going to go into OG with just this um, one brush. This is a one brush which is like a big blending brush. Now I'm just going to blend out the top of my transition color. I'm gonna drag it out just a tish, nothing too crazy right now though. Oh, I really like these eyeshadow brushes though. They're super soft and they're neon and just like cute, you know? Oh my gosh. I love this. This blended out so nice. So I do want to deepen out the um, outer corner. I'm gonna go into Yugo actually, which is this like dark plummy purpley brown. I'm just going in with a little pencil brush, little smudger, ooh I like this. Okay, I'm just kind of like smoking it out, I'm just placing it right here on the outer, just cause I want to add a little definition. And I'm just kind of placing it and then gonna go in and blend it. So with no extra shadow, I'm just going in with that seam and just kind of deepening the socket of my eye just because I want to make it like a tish darker and pop in, but not like too noticeable, you know, just so it gives it that little, a little darkness. Oh, with, I feel like I got to go in with Gorgina which is like this perfect, beautiful bronze. And I think this is just a shimmer shade. Yeah. So you can use it with your finger or a flat brush. I'm gonna use um, a flat brush and then I'm actually just going to spray it because you know, that's what I do all the time. Come on. Oh, girl. What? what? What is your issue? What's your problem? Are you fucking kidding me? There you go. Don't you ever. Okay. Mm, that stuff smells good. I just grabbed my Tarte Radiance set one. 
So I'm going to go into this and I'm just going to tap it. Oh my gosh. I love this bronze. I don't really have true bronze that I absolutely love. There's only like, I think one that I literally love for a bronze. So you guys, I just like tapped it in and I did do like a little sweep just because I want to get it like glitter and kind of blend it out. But I'm not going all the way to the end. I don't really do that with shimmer shadows. I'm going to add just like a tish, a tiny tish of Gemini right here. It is a pressed glitter, so I'm just going to do it with my finger. I literally went in there once. I really like this bronze, how it looks, but I just want it like a little more kind of sparkle. So that's why I'm going to go into this one. I just want it a little more reflecty, you know? And I love like the big chunks of glitter of that. Can I add a tish more? Yes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell. And I'm just tapping it. Tap, tap all over the eye. <gasps> I'm so glad I went with bronze. Like a bronze smoked look. I'm going to do the other eye and I will be right back. But this is it so far. God, I love it. I just live for it. I just love it. This is so my look. This is so me. So, yeah. Okay, I will see you guys in like 2.5. God, I cannot wink. What was this? Through on Miami lashes. They like don't really look even. I feel like I don't really know what happened to them. Um, so you know what? We're just gonna go with it. And it has been a while since I put on like a big off lash. So I was kind of feeling it, but I'm gonna do this eye for you guys just just so you can see what I did, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna go into you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Yeah. I think that's how you say it. Very, very lightly blending back and forth, back and forth. I really like that color because it's like a dark plummy. It's not super black where um, it looks harsh. So it's a little lighter, but it still gives you such a pretty like dark definition, you know, like a soft dark. And then I'm going to go back into New Yorker with that same blending brush that I was using. And I'm going to do just a lightly light handed sweep, nothing too harsh white eyeliner this is just by smashbox i've had this forever oh mermaids so for this last step what i did i actually went into barb which is like crazy because it's kind of like this reflecty really light like lavender lilac pink kind of moment little glitter shift du duochrome right here but i thought for some reason it would like look pretty on the inner corner i did put it here I just used like a little flat brush. I just put it in here. So it goes on, it looks like green, like a reflex of green when it goes on. So it's so pretty and so cool. I didn't really expect that, but it just looked really popping and I wanted to try this. So I thought, hey, let me just do it right in the inner tear duct. And it's gorge. Gosh, I'm sorry, my lashes look really weird. But I mean, whatever, what do you expect? Do I ever have like a straight lash on? I don't think I've ever had like even good lashes on, but it's gonna have to do because I'm not taking these off, okay? okay this is Kylie Nova. I really do like this for um, one of my nudes, but I always have to put a little darker lip liner on, but like I really don't want to right now. So I'm leaving it at that. And then I'm gonna put on Snatched by Her. It's like a pretty peachy kind of gloss. So pretty. Let's get into my final thoughts on what I think about the Omrizi X ABH eyeshadow palette. Ooh, hi mermaids. Oh my gosh. How was that? I hope that was good. I don't even know. Like it's been a minute since I've done like a sit down kind of in depth talk of makeup. Tell me how I did below. Do you guys like this look? Let's get into it a little more closer up. Ooh, she's really focused. My eyes look really big right now big brown eyes shout out to my brown eye girls i feel like brown eyes don't really get the attention they deserve sometimes you know i don't even think i need to say anything i absolutely loved this palette it's gorgeous it blended so beautiful like this literally was the best eyeshadow palette that i've used by abh that blended seriously to perfection like i'm not even kidding i barely had to use that much force i was quick blending it and that's what i look for in my um eyeshadow palettes and I really really liked these colors actually 
they came off really pretty. I'm gonna have to try these other ones just to see, so maybe I'll do another tutorial like with Leo or something, but from what I have used, I absolutely love it, and I'm sure the other colors are just gonna be great. I already talked about the packaging on what I think for this. Now the price is $49, and um, usually I think their palettes are like 45 or 42, but you do get two extra shadows. You do get a blending brush and it is in collaboration with Omrizi, so I definitely get it. I think the price point is good where it stands. And these shadows, though there's a whole bunch of different glitter, shimmer, duochrome shadows, so I'm sure those are a little more expensive to make, so I totally get it. Um, I think the price is good. If you love her, get it. If you like love these colors, absolutely get it. Before you guys go, like, comment, subscribe, hit that noty button. Bell. I'm going to be back soon because there's some videos that I want to do and I'm really excited for them. I will see you next time. Bye.